we have this Attorney General in Michigan. Attorney General Michigan, the first thing that comes out of her mouth is shocking about what took place in Texas. Take a look at this. Go. We do know this is an ongoing hostage situation the White House is monitoring as well. This has been elevated to a federal level. Um, as you watch this thing unfold, what are your biggest concerns? Well, my biggest concern, uh, hearing that it's at a synagogue, is that this is um, someone who's intent on um, committing hate crimes and an act of domestic terrorism. And it's not just uh, a random person who wandered into a synagogue. Now, we don't know that for certain, but we have seen an incredible rise uh, in rhetoric that is anti-Semitic being trafficked all around the country. And in the case of, of Michigan, that is why I established the first hate crimes and domestic terrorism unit anywhere in the state, one of the first in the country, because we were seeing an exponential rise in hate crimes and an exponential rise in the formation and the membership of these extremist organizations, many of which are white supremacy organizations, and they traffic uh, in hatred against Jews and other minorities. And so it's a, a considerable issue. When I took office, I met with the White House, and I told them uh, that... Yep, yep, yep. So is she going to now uh, denounce the Muslim community with a broad brush, the way she does the white communities? Of course, there's nut jobs like the Klan, the neo-Nazis, and others uh, uh, who are white who promote that kind of an ideology. But there's nut jobs in the black community, in the Hispanic community, in the Muslim, and go on and on and on. But for her to knee jerk like this without having any facts, it turns out she's completely wrong. So here's the attorney general in Michigan who's talking about these white groups when there wasn't a white group. It was apparently a Muslim group based in London, where, by the way, two teenagers had been arrested and are being questioned. And this guy belonged to an organization over there, a violent, radicalized organization in, uh, in London. So maybe they ought to swing back and interview the Attorney General of Michigan again, a left-wing Democrat, and ask her, well, now what do you think? Uh, because she has made a fool of herself, and she jumps right into the stereotype. That's not to say we don't have a problem with these people. We obviously do. But in this case, she should have held her fire a little bit before she mouthed off. And so should have the special agent in charge. But again, this is the woke mentality of the left. When I heard it was a synagogue, I immediately thought it was a jihadi. Immediately. And as I say, this, this uh, lady, Al-Qaeda, has become somewhat of a cause celeb for this group care, particularly in Texas. Uh, Texas Austin, Texas, other cities we care, have been protesting and demanding her release. Imagine that, her release in this country. It's really appalling. And so Joe Biden, first he immediately knee jerks to guns, and then he realizes that gun control wouldn't have stopped this. How about border patrol? How about visa uh, control? How about Democrat Party control? Maybe that would save some people's lives. I certainly think so. Go. With regard to Texas and the synagogue, I spoke this morning with the attorney general and uh, to get a rundown on, he said there was overwhelming cooperation with the local authorities and the FBI and, and uh, they did one hell of a job. This was an act of terror. Allegedly, the assertion was he got the weapons on the street. He purchased them when he landed. And, uh, and it turns out there apparently were no bombs that we know of uh, that, you know, he said that there were bombs he had as well. <clears throat> but he um, apparently he spent the first night in a homeless shelter. I don't have all the detail yet, so I'm reluctant to go into more, much more detail. But uh, and allegedly he purchased it uh, on the street. The idea of background checks are critical, but you can't stop something like this if someone is on the street buying something from somebody else on the street except that there's, two, there's so many guns that have been sold of late. It's just ridiculous. And, uh, no, and stop. So many guns sold of late legally. That's how they know so many guns have been sold of late. He even admits that this gun obviously wasn't bought legal. It was bought off the street. That's a crime. So maybe they should support tougher sentences, more prosecutions, um, uh, more, more effort to take people off the street who are illegally moving in guns and selling guns and so but they don't do that 
Or better yet, how about recidivists, people who are violent? How about taking them off the street? There's so much that can be done, but he has no ideas. The left has no ideas. They've created so much horror in this country, quite frankly. He says the FBI did a good job, no doubt about it, but let's be honest. The people who were kidnapped escaped on their own. The four of them, he released one, and three of them ran for the door when he put his, uh, his weapon down, when the rabbi threw the chair at him. So that's how they got the hell out of there. And I'm very glad that they went in there and took care of business, quite frankly. Go ahead. Because of the failure of us to focus as hard as we should and as consistent as we should on gun purchases, gun sales, ghost guns, and a whole range of gun things. Gun purchases and gun sales have nothing to do with this. Most of you watching probably have purchased a gun. I've purchased many guns. My crew have purchased guns and so forth. You have to go through a background check. And um, the background check is handled by the federal government. Now, it's true you can buy a gun from another person. But that's a very insignificant, a tiny percentage of the guns that are sold and bought in this country. The overwhelming majority of guns are bought through gun dealers, who are highly regulated, by the way. So you have to fill out this form. They do a criminal background check. They do all kinds of checks. I go to the NRA show from time to time when they have it in my community. I've bought several guns at that show. It's never been less than 40 minutes that I'm sitting there when they're doing a band. Now it's even longer because of the number of people purchasing them. Um, so it's not like you don't get a background check. Now, he may have bought a gun illegally off the street. You're not going to stop that. I mean, this is a president who can't stop murder, right? Isn't that like the worst crime? It's even worse than buying a gun illegally. I mean, every gun that's bought illegally probably isn't used in a crime. The crime itself, of course, is buying the gun illegally. But people being murdered, what are they doing about it? Well, they were cutting the cops, remember? They were attacking the cops as systemically racist. Now we have cities that people don't even want to visit anymore. Many people are trying to get out, but they don't have the money to get out uh, because of the, the, le the crime wave, the level of crime, uh, the, the murder, rape, uh, carjacking. Uh, just attacking small businesses and stealing things without much of a response uh, with these Soros-type uh, prosecutors. Maybe he ought to be focusing on something he can do, like yanking Soros's chain. Want to see more Mark Levin? Go to levintv.com and subscribe now.